So, Republican, and this is to the politics of this, which is fascinating, Republican New Hampshire Governor Chris Anunu, he spent the better part of the past year criticizing Donald Trump very severely. He got deep on everything from his legal issues to his cognitive abilities. Take a look. He doesn't have the fastball. He doesn't have the energy. He's, I mean, I think at one of the, his last rallies, he's talking about Jesus Christ as Speaker of the House and comparing himself to Nelson Mandela. If he's not on the teleprompter, he goes, it's not the same guy. This is the guy, this is the guy that was blaming Nikki Haley for January 6th and couldn't, if he's off the teleprompter, this is not Donald Trump of 2016, guys. So, if he's off the teleprompter, he can barely keep a, co a cogent thought. I mean, that's just fact. But you've seen him in person as many, probably more times. I've worked with him very closely. He's not the same guy. This is not Donald Trump. He on, didn't on have a fastball. prompter last night. Yeah. Look, this guy is nearly 80 years old. Thank you He's for your 77. service. He's 77. Yeah, that's nearly 80. We'll do math later. But look, he's... He, he's you he's, are so sorry. This is, not, this is not 2016 anymore. He's not on his fastball. Okay, and now everything is completely different. Uh, Sununu was pressed yesterday by ABC's George Stephanopoulos on a major flip-flop by Sununu himself. Take a look of this uh, lengthy exchange. It's brutal. Please explain, given the fact that you believe he contributed to an insurrection, how you can say we should have him back in the Oval Office. It's not because for me, it's not about him as much as it is the, uh, having a Republican administration, Republican secretaries, Republican rules, a sense where states' rights comes first, individual rights comes first, parents' rights comes first. We're going to have a pro-business economy. We're not going to have a cancel culture that has really infiltrated all across America. It's not about Trump with me. It's about bringing those more. But he will be your president. Right? I'm the governor You're of the Liberty State, <laughs> bringing that mentality back. That doesn't make any sense to me, Governor. I'm sorry. You're saying it's not about Trump. You're saying he would be the president. And you've said he's an insur someone who's contributed yep. to an insurrection. I understand it doesn't make sense to you, George, but look at the polls. What you're telling me is you don't understand why 51% of this country is supporting Donald Trump. They're not crazy. They're not MAGA uh, conservatives. They're not extremists. They want culture change. So Governor, I I'm not, talk I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not from, talking. The I'm bigger not... issue is... <laughs> I'm not talking about polls. I'm asking you a very simple question. You believe Donald Trump contributed to an insurrection. That's correct, right? I stand by the statement. You stand yep. by the statement that he contributed look, his to words, an insurrection. He, his, and you, be, look, you his believe words, that someone, you he, believe that a president who contributed to an insurrection should be president again? Uh, as does 51 percent of America, George. So, so just to sum up, you would you support him for president even if he's convicted in classified documents. You support him for president even though you believe he contributed to an insurrection. You support him for president even though you believe he's lying about the last election. You support him for president even if he's convicted in the Manhattan case. I just want to say the answer to that is yes, correct? Yeah, me and 51 percent of America. Okay, Ed Luce, uh, I'm not going to ask you what happened to Sununu. That, that's for Sununu to deal with uh, himself. But that answer, um, what does that tell you about where our part politics are today? Oh, nothing, nothing cheerful. Uh, nothing, nothing no. inspiring. I mean, this is uh, very clearly a person saying that my party and my own career survival matters more than my country because it's quite clear what his views were originally, which were the correct views, that this is a threat, Trump poses a threat to the Republic, to the Constitution, to regular democratic order, um, and that he'll still, with this bizarre repetition of because 51% of Americans agree with me, that means doing the wrong thing uh, is justifiable. That's about the only line of defense he had. And I think it's relevant. It wouldn't be relevant if it was just Chris Sununu. But it's relevant because, uh, you know, we've yet to see what deal Nikki Haley will do um, mm -hmm. if, if, she, if indeed she's going to do one to support Trump and what she will get in return for that. If indeed that happens, we see Marco Rubio auditioning overtly to be his running mm -hmm. mate. We know what Marco Rubio has said about Trump. We know what Lindsey Graham said about Trump. I mean, you can go through like nine pins. Um, most of the Republican Party. Um, and point out that they had just as scathing views that this man was not fit to be president and then did a complete pivot um, and decided for 
self-preservation instinct or career advancement that they would back a man unfit to be president. So what does it say about politics in the GOP today? It says they do not care about their country. U.S. National Editor at the Financial Times, Ed Luce. Thank you very much for being on this morning. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.